Hey Vibe Tribe, this is Jess Venus with Life Force Energy. How's everyone hanging with Mercury Retrograde at its best? I have been wanting to share a few messages that I've been channeling for uh, the Vibe Tribe as I prepare for their sessions. And then I thought, you know, this would be a really good opportunity to kind of just pose these questions to you as, all as well. For those that are meant to receive this video or that are going through this initiation process in their life or you're discovering your soul's purpose and calling, I believe that this message is for you. Right now, a lot of us are waking up and discovering that the way that we were living, the jobs that we were doing, the relationships that we were a part of, the way that we were behaving a pattern, it used to work. It used to, it used to help us to feel alive and thrive. And now we're in a different stage in our lives where we're noticing that it's not working anymore. And so many people think, oh man, what am I doing wrong? Something isn't working out. I must be doing something or I'm not doing enough or what have you. And I'm here to remind you and to confirm what spirit has said. And that's not true. You're growing. You're transitioning. You're being initiated into other aspects that you have been working on for many years or uh, deeply, even if it's just for a few months, you are in a place of progression and process. So I wanted to share with you, are you answering the call of what your soul's path is? What does that look like for you right now? Usually a lot of us already know what our soul's calling is and we just keep it hidden in the depths of our heart and we just don't talk about it because how other people may view us or they'll end up telling us things that to discourage us because they don't have the balls to do it themselves. So then we just kind of, you know, kind of have it as a wishful thought and we kind of keep it to the side and we're like, God, I wish I really could do this. You know, I, oh, but who am I to be able to do this? I don't even have the resources or maybe I don't know how to do it. So then we don't do it. And then we go along unfulfilled. The thing is, is that your guidance is there. Remember I was telling you guys that you are all born with intuition it's our God-given birthright, even every one of us on this planet. We all have this sixth sense knowledge, this desire to fulfill what we are meant here to do. And we're just in a path. A lot of us humans are just trying to find out what it is. You're being called to answer your soul's purpose. I know a lot of you, as I was sharing this week with a few of you, it's scary because it's the uncertainty or it's the lack of resources, or like I actually shared with some people today when I was doing readings, they said I was there too, where I thought the world's so saturated with all of it so much. Why would they choose me? And then I explained to them why I went forward with it because the universe told me, said, yes, there is these things, just as there's a bunch of cars on in this world. There's so many. We could just say, why would we keep bringing out new cars, new versions every year when there's just so many of them to choose from? There's so many forms of transportation that you can use because not everything is going to be for everyone. So your uniqueness, what you bring to the table is necessary, but you also got to trust. See, that's the part that we all work on. I know I do. You got to trust your soul's passion, the drive, the motivation, the desire what you're working on. You got to go beyond what others are expecting you to do. You got to live your life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. I'm doing it now. I'm calling in big moments right now. I'm calling in big moments. <laughs> so I'm thinking really large right now. So I'm bringing this to you to share with you what I'm going through right now. And the other thing is to listen, friends, answering your soul's calling isn't a one-time thing. This is like a lifelong dance. So who I was when I was 10 years old to who I am today, from 10 years old, we'll say the certain things that I had, the qualities, the studies, the, the, the things that my family were teaching me that I was just like, uh, again, serves me right now. And I'm able to share it with the rest of the world. So a lot of the times people think I want it and I want it and I got to have it now, now, now you're in the process. That's what I was telling some people today when I was doing readings. So I'm like, you're in it right now. <laughs> you just want the end outcome. Well, sweetie, this is the journey of your beginning to get to the outcome that you're, you're striving for. 
So if you already know what you long for, and if you don't, you need to ask yourself, what does your soul yearn for? Whatever you're being called, that is your calling, don't overthink it, man. I mean, there's a reason why it's, it's, it's inside of you. It's, it's building inside of you. Your idea is yours because it's part of your journey. You don't have to ask for permission, people. You don't have to wait for another person to validate it because that's what happens. That's why I tell people, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, this is an entrepreneur spirit, man. No one has to tell me to go and do all these things and do my checklist. And did you take care of it? No, I do it. My soul tells me, let's go, Jess. We're going to do this. And then I just do. And it goes the same for you as well. You don't have to wait for someone to say yes. You have to first say yes to yourself. Are you holding yourself back from doing what you really want to do? What is it? Don't hold yourself back. You don't need your family, your friends, whomever it is to validate your purpose. You got to know what it is and go for it. Most people are always waiting for it to fall in their laps. And that's the problem. Then they're like, well, if it didn't fall in my lap, then it's not meant to be. I'm like, oh, why did, why, what? <laughs> Where did you get that idea from? No, the universe is wait, waiting for you. It's supporting you all the way. It will send you messages. It'll give you ideas. They'll put uh, resources readily available. And all you have to do is get it. Now, if you don't get it, that's still your choice. It's called free will. You don't always have to have everything in alignment. Like, I've had people who are like, and this is what happened with me with YouTube. I'm going to use myself as an example. So, oh, when I was living in California, so it's now been seven years since then. Okay, so seven years ago when YouTube was, you know, it's, it's really trending now and it's really nice and, and stable. You know, I was told to do a YouTube channel. And actually one of my clients, she walked in and she goes, you need to do a YouTube channel. And I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> And it's so uncomfortable talking like this. Now, you see, obviously not anymore. But at that time, I swear, it really was. I was really uncomfortable. And I was like, there's so many other people doing it. I don't have to do it. <laughs> and they're so much better at it than I am. And so I held it off. I mean, for a very long time. And then another client came in. Thank you, Courtney. And Sean, Cosmic Cousin. And they're like, what are you waiting for? Like, get on there. And I'm like, but I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do all these really cool things. And I have a really busy schedule. And I made all these reasons that justified why I wouldn't go through with it. And then I got sick. And I was complaining right before I got sick. I said, Divine, how do you want me to do all these things? How am I supposed to have the time management? How am I supposed to teach, create product, heal people, work on myself, do meditations, da 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 I was bitching, da 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 And so the universe is like, shush, child, let us speak. And then put me in silence mode to communicate with me. And so the reason why I'm sharing this, what is your soul's calling? Because it's a reminder for me, and I believe there's a lot of you that are going through it too. We don't always need everything to be step by step. Like before, I would even do these videos. I was like, oh my gosh, I would be editing. And then to upload through my OB, um, studio it would take half the day but then i have to do lives through healing through zoom so i was like well then it's gonna it's gonna slow down my connection so i had all these excuses and then i said to divine not so long ago and i said well how do you want me to do this and they gave me this crazy cool idea so let me show you how you how i'm doing this now so you're gonna go on live on facebook because i don't have enough subscribers on youtube to go live because once i do that's all i'm gonna do <laughs> that's just so much easier um but they said, go on Facebook Live, do a live, then you're going to download the video, and then you're going to upload it onto YouTube Studio. You don't need editing. If they don't like it, too bad, then that message wasn't for them, or they're missing out on some really good information that can help them in their, in their journey. And I said, fine. So here I am. So what I'm saying is, I didn't need a step-by-step, -step because I was trying to be like everyone else, to have things like in a certain order, and Divine said, I don't have to do that. I just need to come. I got to show up. And that's what I'm telling you. Your soul is asking you just to show up. Show up and just do it, which is my first video, which is what it was really what they were telling me. My first YouTube video is called Just Do It because that's what they were telling me. Just, just do it. And so I laughed. And so that is the actual title of it. So I'm telling you, my friends, just do it because that's what spirit told me today to tell all of you. You guys are holding yourself back because, oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. You got to start somewhere. So you just keep going, keep showing up, 
divine is going to keep providing those opportunities for you. It's going to align. Your people are going to come to you. They're going to feel you. They're going to vibe with you. And it's just going to blow up beautifully and bloom and blossom. So what is it going to take? It's going to take your faith and courage to answer your own soul's calling. And most people don't. And so they never fulfill what they want because they just have the idea. They entertain it in their mind and it's called wishful thinking, but they never go and become active. So I'm here to be your Jiminy Cricket because that's what they told me to do. So I'm here to remind you, just do it. Okay. It's time now, whatever that you've been holding back because of all the reasons that I'm sure they're just as great as my reasons. <laughs> that's got to go. We're in such a fast track mode to learn and to grow and expand just as we are currently in this particular planetary cycle that is making us to slow down, reflect, to grow, and to expand. Because there's other planets that are in that. That's what they do. They're here to expand you. So here's the other thing. You are exactly in the right place where you need to be. Okay? So just because maybe you're like, I've been working on it and I haven't hit my millions of dollars yet. That's okay. See, the millionaires that I, that I take care of, that I heal, they told me the same thing. They said, Jess, um, I was just so happy when I made my $2,000 a month. I was so happy. And now they're making $80,000 a month. Because they just showed up and they just did it and they kept going. Even when everyone else was telling them that what they were doing to get another job. Like, I literally had one of my clients say that today and I just... My heart broke for them when they said that someone that they love said, just get a regular job. Stay in the system, man. And I'm so glad they didn't because they're killing it right now. They are killing it. And I'm like, isn't it feel good that you went with your intuition? And they were just checking certain things. And I was just here to confirm. And that's why I'm here. I'm your cheerleader, everyone. I'm your cheerleader. You don't always need to have a step-by-step -step plan. You just have to have an idea. You get some ideas and you roll with it and then spirit comes in and then it starts to unfold. It's, it's amazing, okay? Um, because you're going to be led. The universe is going to support you and lead you like what's happening with me right now on this video. You just need to take the step. So have that leap of faith. Have courage. Have the confidence. Start. That's why I keep telling you guys these videos have been get a book. Get into class. Talk to other people. Study. Start looking. you got to take time for you. If you don't take time for you and you're just thinking, 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 then divine can't give you the inventiveness, the creativity. It can't align you with the correct network that you need. It doesn't have to always be a perfect plan. And I also want to share this too because I saw this with a couple um, appointments this week. So, so you launched something, right? And it didn't go the way you had hoped for. This is what happened to me. This is how Intuitive Senses Workshop was designed. So, Back in the day, for those of you that are still with me till this day, do you remember, for who have been with me for all these years, remember when I created the Chakra Seminar Series? Now, I had a few plugins here and there, but the divine kept telling me that it was going to be huge. And I was like, okay, so I did it, and it didn't, it, it, it didn't fit the vision that I saw. And so I was kind of discouraged, but then I was told, while well, I was still in Temecula, California, and then came out to Colorado, they said, you're not done yet. That was just the beginning. Then into a census workshop was born and now it's just going all over the world and it's helping people to learn their fundamentals whether you're beginning or you're seasoned these are fundamentals that will get you trained so that you can remain consistent and do it so at that time it looked like it failed but it wasn't it was the foundation to get me to my success so i'm just here to remind you guys that you don't have to always know where everything is leading you just got to go through with it and move forward it's important for you to allow yourself to travel in those destinations that your soul is calling you to. And there's no right or wrong. Because like one of my clients was like, oh, I'm so bummed. I said, it's okay. So it didn't go that way. It probably needs more to it. You got, you're, you're there. It's percolating. It's, it's, it's working. But you're going to change it a bit. So it's going to be just right. So there's no wrong or right. Just keep going. Let the evolution take its course. And uh, most importantly, my friends, you don't need anyone's permission for your soul's calling. A lot of people are stuck because their spouses, their parents, their friends, their colleagues are saying, oh, you're not going to go with any there. You're not going to go anywhere with that. Oh, I've heard that before. I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years. I have been out of the system that long. And I have people always talking shit to me. 
Well, why would she open up a daycare in the middle of the desert where there's no one at and there's no development? Because God told me to do so. And I had a vision, so I went with it. And it worked. And I tell I tell people, it's like with me, for in my experience, it's like they've allowed me to go through things where it's like it would be like there's no way that it should work out. And it's the best thing ever that happened because I stepped out in faith. I trusted it. I had courage and I just did it even when everyone else was knocking me down on the way through my destination. So you got to grow some tough skin here, my friends. Sometimes the most resistance from anyone else that may be around you is the most important lesson for your soul's growth and the development of creating your reality. Can you believe that? Sometimes we need those resistance, those moments of being pushed back is what makes us even stronger. What is your soul calling you to do? So I just wanted to take this time just to encourage you. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will be sharing some more things that Divine will tell me to share with all of you. Because why? Because I'm just doing it. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Love, insight, and healing.